I'm Samantha Louise Emery, a multimedia artist, meaning that I cross-reference disciplines, which is a fairly new direction in the last four years. This is um, the second series in my Icona project. It was about what's the women's wisdom? What is, what is our wisdom collectively and the wisdom that we do pass on to the younger generation of women? I had this amazing journey and recognized how important it was that women really came together to support each other. I recognized that there was a gap in my life. So I started to think of who inspires me. So I chose 10 women, different generations, uh, different backgrounds, different parts of the world, and they're also extremely beautiful. The way the artworks have come around is as if it's sort of like we really are woven together. What was incredible in this one was the vision I had of how I was going to conduit. And it just came to me, I needed to go underwater. But once the process started, slowly, slowly, the answer started to come to me. Why was I going underwater? I became very passionate about that it being literally the lungs of our planet. Once I got as deep as I could to turn around and express myself to the camera of what I felt this woman was, made me have split seconds to work with. That's where the magic happened. I'm very tactile, so I need my fingers in there. I need my hands to feel things, and so that's why I love sewing. And I'm able to start to have a conversation with it, and that's, to me, what starts happening. So the material speaks back to me. You start to get a conversation of what you can do and where it can go and what happens. And so there is a lack of control, which is not comfortable, but then I, the, the not comfortable is actually where I find I make the best work. I had this amazing journey of traveling to see each woman. And by the time we'd finished our meeting, we were sisters. Each one in its own way. Women recognizing that we're here to help each other, to support each other, to inspire each other. What I'm doing is I'm sort of using myself to express another, but of course it's also how am I able to see that in that other? It's because it's in me and it's again in a way demonstrating how we're all mirrors to each other. What we see in someone else is, is what we know of ourselves.